month away from the eclipse coming to Erie as thousands descend into our area. It could lead to headaches for those trying to navigate through all the streets. Yeah, our Elspeth Meisner tonight is in downtown Erie. As she talked earlier today with some emergency service professionals and um, Elspeth, like Emergicare, uh, what are they doing? Preparing to handle any emergencies that come up on this historic day, April 8th. Mike and Eva, staff at Emergicare say they're trained to handle these large scale events. However, the biggest question that remains to them is how many people could be descending upon Erie. They say depending on what that number is, that could be their biggest challenge. As Erie prepares to welcome thousands of people for the eclipse, staff at Emergicare are preparing to handle the crowds and emergencies. Certainly we're identifying alternative routes to be able to get to the hospitals, uh, to be able to get through different neighborhoods and stuff. You know, that is a concern. Uh, fortunately, everything, all of our equipment is mobile, so if we have to, we can get on foot to where we need to go. Officials at Emergicare say they plan to bring in more staff to make sure they're spread throughout the city in case an emergency occurs and traffic would prevent them from getting them from where they need to go. Be putting additional units down on the bayfront, our uh, side-by-side off-road unit to uh, be able to go into crowds if need be, but uh, especially coordinating closely with the Erie City Police Department to make sure that we're prepared. They also plan to have units outside the city so they don't have to fight city traffic to get to rural communities. On a typical Monday, traffic might not be too busy. However, on Monday, April 8th, that could be a different story with lots of traffic, which is why Emergicare is doing their part by setting up different trucks all throughout the county to make sure they can get to people easier. Less traveled areas to where we would expect less crowds, you know, so that would decrease the delay of getting to those patients when they're in need. So just being able to spread our assets out that day, our assets meaning our ambulances, our units, our paramedic units, you know, posting them outside of the city or on the outer edges of the city certainly will help with that uh, deployment model. Since Erie has never experienced an event to this caliber, they're preparing for this like they have prepared for other large scale events. Honestly, we're utilizing tall ships as well. You know, that, uh, you know, incident action plan and stuff, that same footprint is where we're expecting to see a lot of the crowds just because we know where the eclipse is occurring and, and what it's going to do, where we really expect the, the majority of people to be. Or we plan to show. Now, what things can you and I do to make those at Emergicare's jobs easier? Baznex says to be vigilant if you are out and about in these crowds. Be aware of your surroundings. If you see something that might be suspicious and you don't know what to do, call 911 to report it. Live in downtown Erie, Elspeth Meisner, Erie News Now.